Hello, and thank you for joining me on another episode of The Average EV. Today, we are going to be taking a trip in the cold. Um, right now, as of 11-17, uh, uh, it's 7 degrees outside. That can't be right. 11 degrees outside. My my little um widget didn't update. So, 11 degrees outside, 4 degree real feel. Uh, pretty cold, but not as cold as a lot of people have right now. So I'm going to be pretty grateful for that. Um, but anyways, we're going to take a trip in the cold. We're going to see um, how my battery and my car react while I'm driving in the cold. My car has been sitting in the garage. It's 45 degrees. I have not uh, turned the car on yet because I want to get the reading of how cold the battery is um, as soon as I turn on the car. So stay tuned after the intro and we're going to see how cold the car is. <laughs> All right, everybody, just pulled out of the garage. The battery uh, was seven degrees Celsius, which was the same temperature as my garage. So uh, the battery was the outside temperature, uh, at least of the garage. So that helps a little bit. I'm not starting uh, with the battery at 11 degrees. I'm starting with it at 44, 45 degrees. Now um, on the, um, the OBD, all the information I'm getting here, the outdoor temperature is slowly dropping and eventually I'm sure it's gonna reach the actual temperature, which is 11 degrees. So we'll see how that goes. A couple things I wanna do too while I'm driving. I wanna test the power output and see what I'm getting. Um, and also the regen. When the battery gets colder, it obviously can't um, put out as much power as when it's warm. So I just wanna see how much power is it gonna let me do. This is supposed to be max 150. Uh, kilowatts, so we'll see if that's what it's doing and then we'll check out the regen to on uh, a hill We're actually gonna go down a nice big hill All right, I'm gonna do a little bit of tests of how much power uh, the vehicle can use with the battery being seven degrees um, Here we go so I'm, I'm gonna pull up this so I can see how much the drivetrain is using and I'm just gonna slow down a little bit and then let's do a quick little acceleration to see what we got. Okay, quick acceleration and it gave me the full 150. So uh, at seven degrees, the Kona is able to pull um, full power out. Now that's not great to do when it's cold, um, but the Kona is letting me do it. So there's no limitations at this point in time for the, uh, and this is the 2021 Kona uh, electric um, for how much power you can use at seven degrees Celsius. And again, that's around like 44, 45 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, everybody. I uh, stopped at Starbucks to get some holiday cheer uh, for the ride back. Um, I was in there for about 10 minutes. I left the car off. The, um, the battery pack itself, the min max stayed the same as when I left, which was seven uh, degrees Celsius min, nine degree Celsius max. The inlet did drop to negative uh, one degree Celsius and the temperature stayed about the same, which is negative 11 Celsius or 12 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, everybody, here we go. Max regen test. I'm gonna um, get up to speed and then use the left regen paddle and see what we get. Here we go. We're going down the hill, it's in coast and here we go. Let's see what it gives me. 141, I believe was the highest I saw there. 141. Okay, that's not bad. It's about the same as it outputs. So, I mean, that's pretty good. I'm not sure the total output. I think maybe, probably 150, maybe a little north. I've never actually read about the max regen on this car. So what I'll do is I will, um, I'll look it up and I'll put it right here. It'll pop up, you'll see it right now. And that's what I found. Or if I didn't uh, find it in my research, then I don't know. I guess we'll go with 141. All right, everybody. So um, max regen, I, great success. So, you know, it's, um, what is it outside? Negative 10 Celsius, which is 14 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, the Kona Electric seems to be doing pretty well, uh, despite the cold temperatures. Now, uh, there is not, <laughs> you know, uh, it's not like there isn't any uh, negative downside to being in the negative temperature. Uh, obviously, I am 
having to use climate, which is using a lot more power. Right now I've got 2.9 miles per kilowatt hour, which is about 0.6 uh, to 0.6 miles per kilowatt hour to one mile per kilowatt hour, lower than what I usually get in the cold, like, you know, 30s to 40s range. Uh, but it's not the end of the world. I, you know, I only commute 40 to 60 miles a day. And so I recharge at night and all is good in the world. We are here at the charging station. I'm gonna see what uh, kind of charging speeds we get uh, with it being this cold. Um, I will be honest, historically, because I've you know done this before, uh, usually there is a pretty, pretty massive um, degradation of charging speed. So, all right, I'm gonna plug in, see how it goes. Before I do that, I'm gonna log. We got 3.0 here. Let me actually I'll flip this around. We've got 3.0 miles per kilowatt hour and oh, went the wrong way and then it was 49.8 miles total and then an hour 24 of driving that's actually pretty close to my um normal commute and then we can see here 55 percent battery so we use a uh, state of charge so we used um 25 percent a quarter of the battery usually i use about um 18 so you know what is that a little more than third yeah a little bit more than like 30 or so percent um increase of use so because of the cold weather all right so let's see what happens here all right everybody we're here at the uh charging station um so someone had turned this and on the app i was saying it wasn't um available which that's kind of annoying uh, so sorry anybody who thought this wasn't available, but it really was. All right, taking this out, plugging this in. Oh, we got some ice. Should be okay. Okay. Still saying offline. Oh, this is annoying if it's not gonna work. All right, everybody, so I, I'm back in the car. Um, this charger's not working, um, and this one's almost always working, so I I don't think it's the, um, I don't really, I don't think it's the weather. I think it's just um, some other issue for some reason, so hopefully they get that fixed. I am, because I love you all so much, I'm gonna go uh, find another charger just so we can test out uh, charging speed here on the Kona in the cold and see how much it is affected. All right, everybody, we are at another uh, EV Smart uh, station. This one is a Tritium charger instead of the Episec that I'm used to uh, using, but this says it's available. So I'm gonna click CCS, start charge, and then go plug in. Here we go. All right, put it in. Let's see what happens. All right, I've never used this before. Start, okay. Oh, it's got my state of charge. Well, it did have my state of charge and it says, I guess charging, oh, 52, there we go. And see what it says, I never use these, so this is kind of fun. Uh, just this time charge and how many kilowatt hours delivered. So let's go inside and see what we're getting. Normally this would be in the 60s maybe 70s i believe at 52 i uh, double check my 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 charge here but let's see what it says we're getting ice we're getting 40 kilowatts and that is definitely um definitely lower oh now um now this is only 50 kilowatt max so i wouldn't get the 70 but i know if i would be this would at least be maxing out at about 58 oh sorry 48 kilowatts but we're getting 40 so certainly temperature is affecting charging here is my um if i get closer there we go yep we got negative 38 going in now it says 41's worn up a little bit let's just i'm not gonna stay here too long but let's see what happens to the battery pack all right, everybody, went and ran to the bathroom. It is so cold outside, holy cow. Um, anyways, as you can see here, the battery's gone up a degree. Inlet still has not gotten any warmer. Um, and we're pulling 100, 100, 700, 10 amps at 370 volts, you know, giving us that 
you know, 40, 40 some kilowatt power going into the pack. So, whew, I'm gonna stay here maybe like one or two more minutes, see if the temp goes up one more, uh, just to show the effect that um, fast charging has on heating up the battery, even in the cold. Obviously, if um, I had, you know, the max amperage going in, it'd warm up a little bit faster. Also, if I had a car um, that accepted more um, amps and on a faster charger, uh, it would potentially um, speed up how fast the battery heats up. Here you can see, um, eight degrees, so it went up another one, and the inlet went up a degree as well. So clearly, fast charging has a positive effect on uh, raising the temperature of the battery. Uh, and yeah, so there's just a little bit of evidence for those out there. All right, everybody, I was just about to pull out um, and un unplug, and as you can see, the charging dropped down to 29 kilowatts which is uh, way slower than I should be pulling on one of these units. Obviously in normal conditions, I would be getting about 46 to 48 kilowatts. Uh, but right now, I've only got 72 amps. Let me see if I can get that. There we go. 73 amps and 20, and this one, this is 27. So two or so must be going to my heating I have turned on right now. So obviously a big, uh, big deal. Um, there's no way I would sit here for 42 minutes to charge up to 80%. Um, and again, if you can, it's obviously better just to charge at home, especially when it's cold. For those of you who live in apartment complexes, I would definitely try and advocate to your landlords to get um, chargers installed. And there is money out there for them uh, to get these installed on your property. And they could get some t some tax benefits as well to help um, you know subsidize the cost. So anyways, I'm actually gonna leave now uh, and go home because I'm just gonna charge at home because it's way cheaper than whatever 34 cents or whatever this is a kilowatt hour. I wanted to kind of recap the day. So at least for, you know, the Kona electric, uh, these like 10 degrees Fahrenheit to, um, what are we now? 14 degree Fahrenheit temperature. It does, it does okay. And just a reminder, this Kona does not have, the one that I have, the 2021 SEL, um, does not have a heat pump. And it also does not have any sort of battery uh, warming, or battery preconditioning. There are some Konas that do have the battery warming at a minimum, uh, but mine does not have that, unfortunately. Um, so, but without having that, I think it's doing great. I have full power. I have pretty much full regen from what I can tell. Um, and no performance has been lost. Obviously, the amount of, um, you know, uh, energy used to power this in the cold is greater than at regular temperatures, but that is to be expected because I'm running the heater. I've got my seat warmer on, um, and obviously battery can't come in and out of the battery pack as effectively when it's cold due to the chemistry of the battery. So yeah, again, I can't uh, complain too much about it. I'm really glad I don't live somewhere where it gets really, really cold, uh, like negative <laughs> 20. Uh, I know some people are dealing with it whatnot, so. Um, obviously, how would the Kona perform in a colder climate? I'm sure it would not perform as well, uh, but I wonder if it would still be passable. Uh, I've watched some uh, videos with other people and like the performance is still pretty good, but obviously the charging kind of takes a hit uh, because of the, um, the temperature and it, you know, it cold gates when it's charging. So can't complain about the Kona. I'd love to uh, do a similar test with the ID4 when it comes in and see how that goes. Uh, and I will certainly do that for you all. Thanks for watching and I will catch you all next time.